Hello everyone, I hope you're having a good day. Today I'm going to show you how you can do something really cool. On my Discord server, there's a channel called Video Ideas, where you guys can send in video ideas about things you would like to see. And a little over a year ago, a user that goes by the name Cup Ramen sent me the idea of playing TF2 on your phone. He told me how to set it up, and I thought it was a great idea. But for whatever reason, I just completely forgot about it. But it is really cool, so I'm going to show you guys how to play Team Fortress 2 on your phone right now. I sent Cub Ramen a message asking if he wanted anything, like a shout out for giving me a good video idea, but he hasn't got back to me. So all I can say is thank you. So playing TF2 on your phone, how are you meant to do this? Surely phones are just too bad to be able to run TF2. Well, that's actually the cool thing about it. Your computer is running TF2, but you can be across the room or downstairs playing it on your phone. Now, my only worry for this is that I'm terrible at playing first person games on my phone. I've never played a shooting game on my phone for long enough to get good at it. So I don't know if that's gonna affect how I play on my phone. Another thing is that my phone isn't the best. I got a budget model and it can't run a lot of the apps and games that most people can. So let's see how well it handles with playing Team Fortress 2 on a mobile phone. Now to get this you do need an app but I'm telling you this video isn't sponsored. I know it might seem like it is but it really isn't. I wish I did have a sponsored video to be honest but anyway. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to the App Store or Play Store depending whether you have an iPhone or an Android and download the Remota app. It's free and I haven't actually checked but I managed to download it so I don't think it takes up a lot of space. Once it's downloaded just open up the app. Then it'll tell you what to do on your computer. You need to download the Remota software onto your computer and on the app it told me to go to a specific link but when I actually went there there was nothing there. So I just googled Remota and found a download link. I'll put that in the description because that really seemed to work. Once you've downloaded the app onto your desktop, open it up and make an account. Once you've made the account, you'll be able to see every game on your computer. Now, this is the really cool part. You can actually play any game you want to that you have on your computer. It doesn't have to be TF2, but that's what I'll be doing today. But hypothetically, you could play any game you want on your computer, but on your phone. God, it really does sound like I'm sponsored, but I'm not. <laughs> okay, then go ahead and log in with your new account on your phone. Then, on your phone, select the computer that you want to connect to. You'll be able to see all the games that you have on your computer, and all you need to do is press one. Obviously, I click TF2 and it launches on my computer. Now this is my favorite bit, it's really cool. On your phone, you can add your own buttons that would be to move the mouse or to move around in the game. And you can choose where they go, what size they are, and you only need to have the buttons that you absolutely need. There's no point in having the whole keyboard up there, so you can choose, oh I just want the W, A, S and D keys, or I just want spacebar to jump. Now when you're in the menu for TF2, I found it easier to just use my actual mouse and keyboard to find a game, but you can actually control a little cursor on your phone, so hypothetically you could do everything here on your phone. I felt like playing 2 fort because I thought it would be the easiest, so I connected to a 2 fort server. When loading in, I could no longer see the game on my phone and it, my computer kind of froze up a bit, so I thought it was going to crash, but I just waited for a bit and eventually I loaded in. So stay patient and the same thing should probably happen for you. Now that you're in, you can mess about with your controls, add more, resize them, whatever you want to do to get yourself comfortable. I found that the sensitivity was way too low, so you can go to the settings and make it higher if you need to. And that's it, you can play TF2 on your phone. You can take your phone downstairs, you can get into bed and play TF2. I think that the only limit is that you have to be in the same Wi-Fi connection as your computer. To be honest, I thought it was really good. Everything was working like it should, apart from a few minor bugs here and there. To be honest though, I don't think I would use it again. As cool as it was to be playing TF2 on my phone, I just don't really see that many uses for it. In theory, it sounds cool, but I was just so bad at playing on my phone, and maybe that is just me, because I haven't played a lot of first-person phone games. But if I'm at home, I'd rather just log in on my computer and play with my mouse and keyboard. And although it was running pretty well on my phone, I feel like my phone was holding me back a little bit with the little stutters. But that shouldn't stop you. If you've got a good phone and you're willing to get good at using a phone for a first person shooter or you're already good, then why not? It works well and if you just want to lay in bed playing TF2, then you can. During the whole time that you're using your phone to play, you can also use your mouse and keyboard. So maybe you could play a game with your friend where you aim but your friend walks around with your phone. I don't know. The response time was actually incredibly fast. It actually surprised me. As soon as you moved anything on your phone, it would happen. Anyway, I hope this tutorial helped and I hope you do enjoy playing TF2 on your phone. It's actually crazy. If you like this video, I do plenty of videos like this so be sure to like and subscribe and let me know if I could do anything better in the comments. If you're having any problems playing TF2 on your phone then let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to help. Hope you're having a great day and I'll see you later.